My friends, have you ever heard a story so profound that you just had to put it on camera because it relates to so many of us in the industry? And sometimes a person doesn't even want to be on camera, <laughs> but they're brave enough to say yes because that's how important the story is. Now, in our industry, we have a misconception a lot of times about automation and in this specific moment, a welding cell taking jobs, but automation in general taking jobs. We have the misconception of the ability or quickness to learn it or ease of use taking more time than we think it might. The time to develop a full system to instantly create profitability is sometimes put into the background because we don't believe it. Now, when we go to trade shows and such, they tell us these things all the time. It's going to work. It's going to be flexible. It's going to be great. We promise. We get those things. But what happens when the actual user, my friend Braden here, who's been welding on his own since he was seven years old, can tell you that exact same story. Braden, you've been welding since you were seven. Let's go over the emotions of what you thought before this guy ever arrived and what you thought was going to happen. Oh, I was kind of nervous and really antsy before this machine got here, I guess. Because yeah, I knew that they bought it and before he came up, uh, people were cracking jokes about Oh, Braden 2.0 will be here soon and whatnot. So that didn't help with, with me being all antsy, I guess. But as soon as I got here, I, yeah, it was kind of easy to catch on and whatnot. So I like that. I like that we named it Braden 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the human touch is incredible, and you've been doing this since you were seven. I'm correct with that number, right? You've been doing seven, this eight, your, yeah. your whole dag on life. Yeah. But there is that anxiety, right? When when people start making jokes and you go, <laughs> "Wait, I'm the only one that can do that job. Yeah. Why are you bringing in this? That all that emotion was there, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it so there. it got here. Um, the next bit of information I want to convey is. This guy is a pure welder, like he said, seven or eight years old. So there had to also be a little bit of a fear, like, okay, even if I'm not gonna lose my job, even if I'm the guy that's gonna support the welding, let this machine do the mundane, let it do the monotonous, let it do, they call it the three Ds, right? Dull, dirty, dangerous. Let it do that stuff and let me do the cool stuff again, right? So once it got here, was there also a worry that you wouldn't be able to learn the software? Yeah, I was kind of nervous because it's something to totally new to me, right? And I wasn't sure how I would do with the programming part of this, but, I'm still learning, I guess, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be to catch on. So, And you guys actually, for practice, had a job that yeah. was quoted to be done in two months. Yeah. How quickly did you finish it? Uh, two weeks or something like that. So, two weeks. So, yeah, it definitely helps. And that was, so from two months to two weeks with a brand new cell while you were learning, like on the job training which allowed you to actually work on something and simultaneously improve something while then again simultaneously learning how to make this work for all future projects as well. Yeah. That, my friend, is pretty cool. Now, we're standing here today. How long has it been here? Uh, a few months now. A few months. And yeah. how comfortable do you feel with it? Oh, I'm still kind of antsy about it, well, about the programming part of it because I'm still catching on and whatnot, but it's... I guess it made my life a bit easier. And that's really what we wanted to hear. Yeah. If, you, if you want to say that part louder, the audience will hear you. It's made my life a bit easier. That's what we wanted to hear. Yeah. Now, moving forward, are you excited to see what you can do with it? And my other question is, did you grow up playing video games or anything like that? How innate, innately easy was it for you to catch on? Uh, no, I mean, like, I don't play video games that much at all. So, but this was, it was, wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be to catch on to, to this. But like I said, like, I'm still learning, but, yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, guys, Brayden, we're all still learning, my friend. We're all, I'm learning every single day. The industry we're talking about right now with mining here in Canada, I'm, I'm loving stepping into these shoes. Thank you guys for watching, and Brayden, thank you so much for hopping on camera. This is a true story of something that arrived with fear, and I'm actually glad, because I didn't know the answer either, that Braden said, I don't play video games, because there is a concept that says, a lot of video gamers are gonna love automation, which is true, but Braden hopped into this and said, you know what, let's see what happens. Yeah, and exactly. So. Let's see what happens, right? Yep.
I'm still here. I still got my job. <laughs> still here, still got his job. These are all true stories from the perspective of the people running the machines. That's why it's so important to me to share this with you. So thank you all for watching. Watch this video around the world as we implement automation. Remember, dull, dirty, dangerous. We're removing those aspects with automation. You are not losing your job. And it's quite easy to learn as well. Braden, thank you so much, yeah, my friend. You. I do appreciate you hopping on camera. I know you didn't <laughs> want to do it, but thank you, my yeah, friend. Yeah. <laughs>